close to being in the cell. Yes, um, I was released only two days ago. I was in detention for 29 days. And um, the matter went to court. And um, I was granted bail from court on, on, on Tuesday. Uh, on Tuesday I was released there. Uh, Can you tell me your experience in the cell? Oh, terrible. Terrible. My um, experience, um, I, I have my experience, I would say my experience with, um, uh, 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 with mixed feeling. Because in the first instance, I was put behind the bars, I was supposed to be languishing in the, in the cells, but my going to that detention exposed me and exposed a lot of things to me too. I have learned that the police service needs to, the Nigerian police, Service needs to be reformed urgently because my experience there, though it was terrible, but I had to endure because I know I have, my coming out, I will have a story to tell. And that is, in a, in a short while from now, I'm going to tell you detail, I'm going to write about the details of my experience in, the, in detention for 29 days. Can you just let me into the, uh, what? Yes, I am a publisher. Like I say, Oga Tom Uhia is my name. I am the publisher, editor in chief of uh, Power Story News Magazine. Um, I am uh, my 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 focus is on uh, I, I I expose corruption in our leader in in our, in our leadership uh, in Nigerian leadership. So I uh, did a publication on one of the um, uh, current minister, Minister for uh, Power, Minister of State for Power, um, Mr. J.D. Godi J.D. Agwa, about his past, how he had uh, uh, done some on the back, on the hand uh, dealings while he was the group managing uh, uh, general manager of. Uh, uh, NNPC crude oil. Uh, okay, I know the matter is in the court. Yes. That was why yeah. you were in the court. Yes. But are you going back to court? Yes. I, I just, um, uh, I was released on bail and uh, the matter has been uh, adjourned till December, uh, December 10th. December 10th. Yes. My, my, my health. Uh, you can see I am a 71 year old man getting to 72. I am not a young man. Uh, my detention has taken a toll on my health, but not, not, that not uh, uh, withstanding. I was with my doctors yesterday uh, for general evaluation of my uh, this thing. I did a very com uh, comprehensive test. Uh, some results I'm yet to receive. Others I have already received. Uh, um, and I'm going back to see my doctor again on Tuesday. Uh, by the time I visit my doctor on Tuesday, I should be, he should be able to tell me, to give me the overview of my health. Uh, 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 this thing. Uh, but uh, yeah. from the look of things, do you have a settlement with your with the, uh, the, the minister of? No, 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 no. If I want, well, well, what they are asking me to do is unethical for my profession. Like they are asking me to sign an undertaking that I'm going to with, um, going to retract the story. Uh, in fact, there were about three stories on him in that in that edition, and you know our leaders don't like anybody to visit their past, and um, uh, they want me to retract, to say, um, uh, to uh, to retract the story, to apologize, and to promise that I will never do anything in that direction. I, I said, no, it's unethical. Let us go to court. I stand by my story, and I'm going to prove to the whole world that what I wrote. I had, uh, I mean, documentary evidence to support what I did publish. So uh, I insisted that the matter should go to court, and that do is not. Do, do you, will you encourage young journalists to take such? Uh, My, well, you see, the thing is, uh, let me tell you, what people do not know is that the, jour the journalism as a profession is the only hope. Is the only hope is the only hope for this generation. I want to talk specifically about Nigeria. The, 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 the executive have failed us. The legislatures, I'm sorry to say, because I'm standing on the ground, they have failed us woefully. The judiciary is failing. 
If the judiciary, judiciary has not failed, what I went through, I should not have gone through it. And you are the only one, eh? the fourth asset of the realm. You are the only hope for Nigerians. If you relent your effort, if you mortgage your conscience, then there won't be hope for, for the future, even the generation unborn. Because what we are suffering today is as a result of failed leadership of the past. And we are likely to even go through more terrible things in future if things are not corrected now. And will you fold your hands? Eh? What will I lose if I lose my life now for the benefit of you, the younger people, my children and my, children, my grandchildren and great-grandchildren unborn? I am ready to sacrifice my life. And that is exactly what I'm doing. It's better for me to die. At least where I'm going to is nearer than where I'm coming from. I cannot ask God to give me 70 more years. Eh? If, in addition to my present uh, age, if you add maybe 5 or 10, I'll give glory to God. Because looking back, a lot of my age mates, my classmates, the people we grew up together, have lost their life. They are gone a long time ago. I am still alive and still struggling. And people will ask me, at your age, shouldn't you retire? If I retire, no, the youth are not ready to take the driver's seat. Most of them are, uh, are not ready to take the driver's seat. And now that I, uh, I have gone this far, it's, I, I mean, my detention, I mean, in fact, my suffering in the hands of, uh, of uh, this thing for writing truth, the truth is not, did not start today. In Jonathan's regime, I was locked almost eight times. You know, you know uh, Abbasanjo's regime, I was this thing. During Abbasanjo's this, I was detained. So is it now that I, I should uh, fold my hands and, and, leave, uh, and leave my children to come and go through uh, uh, even more terrible situation? So my, I, my challenge to you today is that the youth should take the future in their future, the, get their future in their hand. At, get the, uh, this thing, the boot by the head and damn the consequences because it will be better for one to go as a sacrificial lamb than to uh, allow a generation to be destroyed. This is GTV Africa uh, online TV on, uh, on Facebook and YouTube. Lucky to see a senior um, veteran on the streets, on the road, and in the National Assembly. Sir, hope to see you again Thank you soon. Thank you, Thank you for your much. time. Thank you very much. And uh, maybe later you share your experience more I detail will. Will. with us uh, in the cell. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Thank you very much. Yep. Congratulations to Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>